Hello, my name is Dr. Farman Ali and I'm a GP and a family physician. Today we'll be talking about a very important topic called contraception. So what is contraception? Contraception is basically the process of taking steps to ensure that you do not become pregnant when you have sex. There are many options to do that and they all have their pros and cons as well as varying success rates. I will be talking about the most commonly used contraceptive method, the levonorgestrel intrauterine system or commonly known as Mirena or JDS coils. They have been licensed in the UK since 1995. There are two types, as I mentioned, Mirena and JDS. They're both T-shaped devices for intrauterine use, which means they are inserted inside the womb. Mirena is effective for five years and JDIS is effective for three years. Mirena is also used for management of heavy periods, also known as menorrhagia. And it also has protective effect on the lining of the womb. It can be used as a form of HRT alongside another another estrogen patch or pill. So how does it work? This mainly acts by reducing the growth of the lining of the womb and preventing implantation. The lining of the womb becomes thinner. The progesterone effect on the cervical mucus makes it difficult for the sperm to get into the cervix. Ovulation occurs normally as usual. So what are the benefits? It's very effective, it's convenient and it is reversible. As mentioned earlier, it can be used for heavy periods known as menorrhagia and dysmenorrhea which is painful periods. It may reduce the risk of pelvic inflammatory disease as compared with the copper coil. It does not significantly interact with other drugs as the action is predominantly local. The hormone is secreted locally. There has been no effect on the bone density. So what are the problems with these coils? As mentioned earlier, some women find it unpleasant at the process of insertion. Menstrual irregularities can occur in the first six months. There are typical effects of the progesterone, which include acne, breast tenderness, occasionally headaches, and some mood changes which might limit its use. Ovarian cysts however these are of no consequence and resolve spontaneously. As we mentioned earlier absolute risk of ectopic pregnancies is low however if a pregnancies occur then it, the risk might be higher expulsion or movement of the coil is common possibly similar to the copper coil the risk of perforation again is two women per thousand it may be higher in breastfeeding women thank you very much